Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Thought it would be a great little example. Look at a simple trace file and show you how I use the coloring rules. For those of you who've been in my classes know I'm not a big fan of coloring rules. There's always a time and a place for it. So I figured why not show you an example of when I would use the coloring rules. So here's a trace file uh, going to this blog site. Uh, just randomly typed in a name and, and off it went. So. Um, here we go. First thing we see is an ARP. This is uh, my wireless NIC here, looking for my default gateway, saying what the heck is the MAC for this 10.1 IP, and here comes the Netgear to the rescue. Here's my MAC. Dun, dun, dun. So now that that's done, we can do a DNS resolution. We're going to look up uh, magazinefreak.com, and bang, get an IP address. So. I also explained to a lot of people when we do this uh, in seminars and classes that whenever we have a, a command and a response and a command and a response, if we have our delta times on, which is under view, time display format, seconds since previously previous displayed packet, and I usually leave it at milliseconds. If you did that, then you would have the delta time. So for example, it took one millisecond for this ARP to get resolved and come back from the router. In this example, you can see the DNS response took 34 milliseconds to respond. So we see the command go out, 34 milliseconds later, bang, response. Then we see my client send out a SYN request. Uh, we're trying to set up a TCP conversation or a session. And you can see I did two of them here, and they're not the same one. They're different, and you can tell by looking at the port number. This is 38, and this was 39, so two separate sessions. So off I go, sending this stuff off and we can see the Synax coming back. Everybody's happy. After the sins are all done, I get my uh, browser to send a get request. And sure enough, we can see what came back. And uh, you can see the page is not happy. It says your PHP installation appears to be missing the MySQL extension, which is required by WordPress. Dun, 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 bad news. So if I wanted to take a look at this a little clearly, because this is the web page, and then after that, I go off and do this ursmicrosoft.com dance, which has nothing to do with this, but if I want to visually see what's going on, what I would do is come over here, pick that first public IP, which I know is part of that WordPress blog, right click, and I can come down to Colorize Conversation IP and choose a coloring rule. Okay. There's also accelerator keys that would do this as well. Now it looks like nothing happened. Why? Because up here I have not hit my Colorize Packet List button press that down you'll see a whole bunch of colors come up by default so what you might want to do is what I do is disable all the colors and just use the ones that you are creating right now so I can edit the coloring rules Let me just drag this guy back at the center here there we go I'm going to just click on one and then uh, control a selects them all and what I'm simply going to do is disable them all and then okay so now you can see that pink one is what I set up so you can see my pink conversation with that website Good. Now you can also see this uh, Microsoft.com come back and it's a 157.56 IP and there he is. So let's give him a color. Right click, colorize the conversation, IP, and we'll give him a bluish tone. There you are. So I can see the pink being the WordPress blog and I can see the blue being the Microsoft. Look at it all. So the next question is what the heck is that? So honestly <laughs> I wasn't quite sure either so I went and googled around this seems to be the back end of Microsoft's uh, phishing uh, service and server so when you have your anti-phishing uh, settings within your Internet Explorer browser um, it does this a lot uh, which is nice to know so in the back end you there's all this nonsense going on as well so hope that helps uh, in this particular conversation we saw session establishment the get the response and then we saw the Microsoft on the back end do its phishing dance. And by using colors, you can visually see how much of this is Microsoft and how much of this is that WordPress blog. Hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.